Edison has a modular design. The compute module has all the complex parts like processor, Wi-Fi, storage. On the extension board has the connectivity. There are several extension boards for Edison. Today we'll use the Arduino board. Plug the Edison compute module on the Arduino board. You can secure the compute module with the provided hardware. Note the switch. It will change the USB settings. If switch close to the small USB port, this port will be used as USB client. It means you can connect Edison to a computer as a device. If switch close to the full size USB port, this port will be used as USB host. It means you can connect USB devices to Edison itself. I need two micro USB cables between Edison and my computer for the initial setup. But you can't connect them to any USB port. On my laptop, I have one high power USB port on one regular USB port. Both are USB free. You can't use the high power port on your computer to power up Edison. That's why I added a white sticker to one of my cables to differentiate them. Let's plug the first cable and wait for the second one. For my setup, I'll use a Linux desktop like Ubuntu. There's documentation for other OSs, but flashing from Linux is a lot easier, does not require drivers, and is very reliable. Go to the official Edison software downloads page and get the Yocto complete image. While it's downloading, launch a terminal. All we need to do on Linux is to install a small software called dfuutil. Create a folder and unzip the downloaded image. Start the flash script. It will wait for the board to be connected. You can now power up your board by plugging the second USB cable. The progress while flashing should look like this. After the flashing procedure is complete, uh, wait a few seconds and you will see a new disk appear called Edison. That's a USB uh, storage emulation by Edison to put some uh, flash files. But we don't use this method, we use the flash scripts.